Hello, my name is Hans Forsberg and I have trained wild birds to exchange litter for food. My first video clip has got an exciting attention and I got so many kind comments and questions from you all viewers. In this video I plan to show you the most common question, that is how did I train the birds? So I will walk you through step by step by using several video clips of different quality and uh, step by step I hope I can show you and get you can get an idea on how this was done. So let's get started. Hello and welcome back to my workshop. The first step I took when I started training the birds was to make them interested in the bird feeder itself and uh, I built a simple solution based on a kitchen cabinet from IKEA and inside that box I could evaluate the feeder, the vibrating feeder and the electronics and as well as the Raspberry Pi, the remote functionality etc. And I could make sure that the system was working uh, reliable. Then I took the box outdoor and started to feed the birds on a random regular basis like every 50 minutes plus minus some random minutes etc and uh, quite quick the birds were really interested in the box of course free food and uh, I knew that I had a team of two magpies in my garden that I could continue experimenting with that box didn't cope couldn't cope with the rain and the snow in the winter in Sweden so I had to build a new box and it looks like this it's more or less the current box as described in another video on my site the first experiments I made here was to see if I could get the birds to push on a red button I 3d printed the red button and there is a small compartment on the where I could put small pieces of food and while they were trying to get the food they were of course activating the button and the motor started to buzz and they realized that okay this is good pushing the button will bring us food so uh, I continued to do some experiments with this button and one interesting finding is that if I there's a interesting relation between the distance between the button and the box where the, where, they are, where the food is distributed. So if I make that distance too far away they don't really believe in the button anymore. And, but then I took a new route and created a small dedicated metal detector. And then as you can see I placed bottle caps in a way that they accidentally could force the bottle caps into the funnel which led to the metal detector and as soon as they did that the, the motor started to dispense food and let's say after a week or two they got the idea that the bottle caps are interesting and they should be forced down into the hole. I took this further to this set up and this is a magic moment you see the bird is actually trying to insert the bottle cap but don't really know that it has to let go so drop the bottle cap but finally the bird is dropping the bottle cap and to the right you can see my graphical user interface that is detecting the bottle cap and starting to feed the bird and after a few weeks or maybe I don't remember really but let's say one to two weeks they were even more familiar with this and I could take it yet another step and put the bottle caps in the garden and that's what I'm doing here and uh, this is also an interesting video clip one of my first where I actually have the full procedure but you see how they really want to put the payment so to speak where the food is distributed there is most likely a genetic connection that that is where that's where I should put the, the stuff but after a while he or she finds out that that little slot is also good and 
there he, he, will, he will get the reward and he has to catch it like a baseball player but that's a good catch and um, at this moment I realized that okay it's it's going to work and I could make the whole setup a little bit more sleek and slim and that's the setup almost as it is today and uh, yeah, that is basically how I did the training and how I gained this this stage of success and uh, hope you enjoyed it and as I said before I'm really amazed of all the attention and nice and interesting comments you sent me so please if you would like more of this subscribe to my channel and I will come provide you with even more details about how to set up a system like this software 3D printed parts, hardware solutions, etc. So, um, thank you for watching and see you soon again. Bye bye.